Hello and thank you for joining me for this demonstration of how to park a call from within the 8x8 Work for Web application. As you can see on my screen, I'm signed in on my web browser to my user on 8x8 and I'm currently on, an, on a call to a colleague. Now if I need to park this call, so essentially parking a call allows me to hold a call on the system but not hold the call on my line specifically. So what this does is when I choose to park this call, it places a call on hold on the telephone system on a separate extension number. Then anyone who wishes to retrieve that parked call just needs to dial that extension number to be able to connect to that caller that's waiting. So to park this call, you should select the more options and then select park. You'll get a little pop-up window just to tell you what's happening. Do you want to continue? So yes, I do. And then the system will tell you what extension the call is parked at and then end the call for you. So we have now parked that call. So now that the call is parked, if we want to retrieve this call, all we need to do is dial the extension number that the system has generated for the parked call. So in this case, it was 461. And I'm now reconnected to my colleague. Just to show this one more time, if I go to park this call, ask me, do I want to do this? I say yes. We listen out for the message to tell us where the call is parked and then it ends the call. We could then go and send a message to one of our colleagues, call parked on 461 for you, and then they can go ahead and retrieve that call by dialing 461. If we wish to retrieve the call though, so you know, we want to we want to get this call back, just dial 461 and you'll see that will then immediately reconnect you to the person that you parked. So in this video, we've demonstrated how to park a call from within the 8x8 work for web application. Thank you for watching this demonstration.